This year's Olufuko Festival attracted about 79 bride girls aged 16 and above who are undergoing rites of passage to adulthood as part of the initiation ceremony. During the initiation process, the girls are taught to focus on their studies and desist any temptations of becoming sexually involved while they are still young. It also prepares them for adulthood as well as to teach them how to protect themselves from HIV and AIDS. The main objectives of the Olufuko event are to inform, educate, enhance traditional and cultural identity as well as preserve and promote culture and tradition. The girls who are participating in the year's Olufuko festival hails from Obalantu, Ombanja, Ukulugadi, Ukwambi and Onganjera. Olufuko patron founding president Sam Neoma called on preparatory committee to stay focused to Olufuko festival. The objectives is to inform and educate the nation about the Olufuko right of passage and other norms of practices due which sustained our previous generations. Therefore, Concerted efforts should to be put in place to preserve a Rufuko cultural festival for posterity and to maintain it as a unique part of world cultural. Among them is the 23-year-old Lisa Israel, a teacher at the Ekundu Combined School. I decided to take part or to participate in Olufuko because of the love I have for the culture and then I believe that culture first learned and after learning it's then shared. Maria Nepembe, the face of Olufuko, says girls who are undergoing through the initiation process were not forced to do so but they are doing it willingly for the love of cultural values, norms and identity. No child or no girl or boy is forced into the Olufuko Cultural Festival. They do it free willingly because they understand their tradition and they understand where they come from. During its inception in 2012, the festival attracted 17 girls, last year 86. However, the number of girls participating this year dropped to 79 because preparations of the festival started late due to financial constraints.